hello friends welcome back to the vfx pipeline channel and in this video i will show you how you can actually get your existing repositories git repositories and push to the gitlab and that is very helpful because if you have some project running on github.com and that you want to import inside gitlab.com for that purpose you can just download or you can just make a clone of your existing repository and once you've done that you will see the folder like this because for example i'm using my own repository which is hosted on vfx pipeline github account and the project name is zone this is a uh, cluster based computing cluster computing based application which i'm working for making a rendering uh, render manager software and for that the source code is already available and i just make a copy of this source code in my local okay so but this is not exist inside our gitlab which we just install configure create projects and for that we will just create one more repository here and then we will import so let's just go inside studio tools and uh, let's just select first uh, maybe the group inside uh, new project and uh, this project should not be in the root so maybe i can just do one thing i will just go inside groups right studio tools okay and here we can create a new one and inside the studio tool we'll create a zone so zone is the app this will be an internal app and create project so zone is ready now let's just go back to the our folder and here we already have git and in this git we have all the history which is this history the commit history and the files history obviously right so now what we have to do is we can just go right click here and open git bash here and this is a ui i mean the, a command prompt for uh running the git commands on windows okay and if you are using linux then definitely you no need to open you just need to open a terminal so this if you go with your empty repository you see there are some instructions there for command line and in my previous video i showed you how you can push your existing folder but now we want to push our existing git repository so we can go inside our git repository which we already have and then first thing we need to actually uh, we need to add a origin of our we need to change the origin to our this repository which is this okay so now what we have to do is just add this link which is there because you know what this repo origin is already our github but when we actually go and paste this line it's it will say that remote origin already exist so now what we will do is instead of adding a origin uh, we'll say gitlab so what we are saying is we are adding a remote and the name will be gitlab that's it so you can use any name whatever you want it's up to you completely so now what we have to do is now we need to git push and git push is the command and use u and then instead of origin which you can see inside the command line instruction you have to use gitlab and dash dash all so now we are pushing everything and again we stuck to a problem which we see in our previous video also so to fix that what we have to use either you just configure a proper certificate for your website or uh, for your gitlab or if you can't do that right now so you uh, work around is you can go with git config and then http dot and uh, ssl verify false that's it so then you can actually git lab or push all and this will be saying that you are not allowed to push and this is the permission error you go back to the settings members members and in that member because right now only administrator root is the having the permission so we need to add the person so right now i'm adding this user this is rajiv here so let's just add a permission maintainer and uh, add to project okay 
so also here i don't know maybe there is a good option here which is like expiry date if is some developer in the project for only for few days you can actually use this but no use now let's just go back and push this again git push u and gitlab since you see that everything is pushed already now just quickly go back maximize this projects so right now we are in zone project and in that zone project one more thing which i can do quickly just to see looks more interesting just go and uh, maybe where is that not exist uh, maybe we can just change this logo to something like this okay so zone is having their own logo which is vfx pipeline logo now let's go back to the project and here you can see that we have our own git github repository is now imported here and uh, here 2.05206303 i mean all the commits are already there and the way we are displaying things are already fine everything looks good and uh, let's just see a few more things about the activities can we see the activities activities are not came here uh, releases is also not there uh, let's just see the commits so yes commits are already there for all the commits level which date how many commits happen uh, branches uh, yes the branches are already there tags let's just see the graph uh, okay so with graph also you can see and uh, charts right so i mean so you can actually utilize this for this purpose this is very cool i don't know why this graph is not showing this programming language but ideally it should show let's just quickly see our other repositories which is let's go to houdini because here we added a lot of python code so repositories and chart and yes somehow here also it's not showing so maybe i will figure it out and i will let you know how to fix that part but uh, yeah i mean this is the idea about uh, how you can actually add your own code inside gitlab right let's just go and see our zone again so this also you can actually if you go to the for example profiles and uh, model.py and your code you can easily browse that perfect right guys so guys thank you very much for watching this videos and i hope you learn from this video series i will not stop here to make this videos i will keep continue making more cool videos related to git lab okay so just stay with my channel subscribe my channel so you will get the notifications for coming videos and uh, i will see you in my next videos thank you guys